Hey everybody, it is Sunday night at 7.30 and that means it is time for tonight's Bible Bedtime Story. So we are back in our Jesus Calling Bible Storybook again tonight. And we've been talking about uh, God's friend, Abraham, and how God made promises to Abraham and Abraham received a son in his old age as a promise and we talked a little bit about that son Isaac who grew up and he had two sons of his own one named Esau and the other named Jacob and on Wednesday night we talked a little bit about Jacob and Esau and how uh, Esau came home one night and he was hungry <clears throat> and Jacob was making stew and it smelled so good that Esau was willing to give up his father's blessing for that stew and when we ended our story we heard that Esau was very very mad at Jacob and that Jacob was running away from home so that he was safe. We read more about Jacob's story tonight and our story is called Jacob a man with two names Jacob's dream and it comes to us from Genesis chapter 28. Because Esau was so angry, Jacob was afraid that Esau would kill him. So Jacob ran away from his family. One night while he was sleeping outside, Jacob dreamed about a stairway reaching all the way up to heaven with angels climbing up and down. In the dream, God made a promise to Jacob just like the one he had made to Jacob's grandfather, Abraham. I will give you the land that you are sleeping on, and you will have many children, and the whole world will be blessed because of you and your relatives. When Jacob woke up, he made a promise to God in return. You will always be my God, he said, and I will give back one-tenth of everything that you give me. And God promised to take care of Jacob wherever he went. From Genesis chapter 28, verse 15. God says, I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go. God says, I am always watching over you and you don't have to be afraid because I will always be with you, just as I was with Jacob. Whenever you get scared, remember that I am right beside you and I am taking care of you. You know, that's a great promise for us to remember because that promise wasn't just true for Jacob, that promise is true for us as well. No matter where we are, no matter what's going on in our life, God is always with us. Sometimes that can be hard for us to understand because we can't see God like we can see maybe our mom or our dad, our brother or our sister, or maybe our dog or our cat. And so it's hard for us to understand that God is always with us. God promises that he will always be with his people. And the amazing thing about God is no matter what, he keeps his promises. And so when he promised Jacob that he would be with him, when he promises us that he'll be with us, he will be no matter what. We don't have to be afraid or worried about anything because our God is bigger and stronger than anyone or anything in this whole world. And he's on our side. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for today. And thank you for reminding us that no matter where we are, no matter what's happening in life, you are always right beside us. Help us to call on you when we need extra strength or just someone to tell us that they're there with us. We love you, Jesus. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. 
So as we get ready to jump into a brand new week, I hope that you are looking forward to all the amazing ways that God will be beside you this week. Hope you guys have a great week. I will be back on Wednesday night with another Bible Bedtime Stories. Until then, we'll see you soon. Bye.